Welcome back to Truck Central. I'm Mr. Justin Wheeler, and this is the 2019 Ram 1500 High Mileage Edition. Our buddies over at Railtruck.com did us a solid and sent us their Diablo Trinity 2 tuner to accompany the new SMB cold air intake we've recently installed. So in today's video, we're gonna go over what it takes to install a new tuner. And at the end of this video, we're gonna see how she performs. Stick around. So pretty much anything you could need to complete this install comes with the kit. Plenty of literature and instructions, a few uh, quick guides, well those are kind of instructions and that's a long instruction, that's a short instruction. Get your new PCM that has been unlocked, OBD2 to HDMI, some zip ties for your security bypass which is here, that's your windshield mount, that is the USB connector to uh, connect your Trinity tuner to your computer and a box and some stickers. We'll slap one of those stickers on the unlocked PCM. The other sticker will probably go in the beer fridge. And check that out. Mm. Those are working man's floor mats. Alright, I need to find the security bypass harness. There it is right there. So I'm going to just pop my fingers in there. There's one. There's two. Alright, from this angle you might be able to see a little bit better. But, uh, where's my hand? There it is. There's your two plugs. There's your bypass module. You can see... That'll go right on here. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. I'll probably fail. But it only goes on one way. There's one. And number two. Wait, let's go around this way. Go to the front side. All right, I'll take a few zip ties. We'll tuck this up here. Probably zip tied to this little doohickey where it won't rattle around. We'll go to the next step. All right, so we've got the OBD2 connected under the dash. Now I will route this properly as soon as we get everything set up and working correctly. Security bypass has been installed. This has the latest firmware. Now we will plug it in. Now this is with the factory PCM. You have to set this up and run the uh, factory PCM information before you do anything else. Make sure you read all of your instructions because I may skip a step or I may not cover something quite thoroughly enough. So do your own homework if you're going to install one of these. I know some people don't like taking the plastic off. but I hate the plastic. Oh yeah. All right, select tuning, tune vehicle. Please wait, getting vehicle information. Turn the mission on. Press screen to continue. Factory data retrieved. Please install the unlocked ECU or PCM. Press OK to continue. Once you have the tuner set up, and you get an initial read off the factory PCM. You want to go ahead and pull it out. And before you do that, disconnect the battery. Lights out. Okay. Then we disconnect the factory PCM. There's two eight millimeter bolts, I think. I think that's it. And before we do that, we're going to disconnect the two uh, harnesses. They're color coded, they only go one way. You just lift these red levers, they pop right out. We got pretty lucky on the Rams. These are much easier to take out than they are in some vehicles.
Next comes the PCM. PCM stands for Powertrain Control Module. It's basically responsible for ignition, timing, fuel, uh, really anything that has to do with how the motor functions. It's the brain. So by putting in the unlocked Diablo PCM, it will allow the truck to take the commands and tunes we give it through the handheld controller in the truck. And that's kind of the idea. Factory, it wouldn't work that way. So there's the factory one. We'll go ahead and get the new one pulled over, dropped in. We're almost done. All right, so here's the new PCM. I don't know that I will ever need to take this back out, but just in case you do, it's uh, it's good to know that this is the unlocked one. So I took one of the stickers they gave us, slapped it on there. The uh, installation process is obviously just the reverse. I'm going to get a couple of these easier to reach ones started, and we'll get down there on that difficult one. I say difficult. The one that's hard for me to fit my fat hands down into, or onto. So you could probably see the SMB intake and the frame there, I obviously installed that just recently as you saw. If you didn't see that installation video, we'll leave a link to it below. You know, that as a standalone component is, is great for getting a little extra power, a little extra airflow, maybe a little extra fuel economy, but it is really a good complement to this PCM and tuner upgrade. They're going to play nice together, I guess is what I'm trying to say. as we try to add things to increase overall efficiency and power to the truck, the intake, the tune, and there may be a few other little things we can do to really kind of highlight the potential of this truck. You know, they come with you know nearly 400 horsepower, and uh, I think we can do a little bit better than that, but we will see. I've gotten quite a few comments about the exhaust. What am I going to do about the exhaust? You know, I, I told myself I wasn't going to do anything to the exhaust for the longest time, and then I started uh, putting these mods on and reminiscing on the days of old when I would have straight pipes or flow masters or <laughs> glass packs and a couple rare occasions. And man, I'm, uh, I think I might have changed my mind. I think I might go with an upgraded exhaust. I don't know what kind yet. I know Borla makes a nice exhaust. Let me know what you think I should go with. What would be a good third musketeer to the intake and the tune as far as exhaust goes? What's my D'Artagnan? With it bolted back up, we just reinstall the connectors. Okay, that's going to get it. Reconnect the battery. We're getting closer. I don't know about you guys, but that is not soft rainfall background music I've added to the track for ambiance. That is a light summer rain. We're going to have some wet roads to test this out on. All right, guys. So the PCM is in. The thunder is rolling in the background. And I think the Diablo is ready to run. Now, we need to 
tell the unlocked PCM what we read from the factory PCM. So we'll connect the tune. We'll let these two do the little do the little dance. Nice little display. I didn't expect the colors to be that good. Like it actually has a nice screen. All right, go to tuning. One of the things that I really like about this type of handheld tune versus a shop tune. Uh, yes, I have. It says, have you updated? We recommend updating your device. Skip, because I know I did that already. Uh, tune vehicle. There's an 87 octane tune, 91 octane tune, MPG booster tune, Diablo tune. There's a bunch of tunes. I don't know which one to pick yet. I'm going to pick the 87 octane tune just because I've got about a third of a tank of 87 left. We're going to run through that. Um, performance trans tune. Of course. Press continue to begin reading your vehicle's factory data. All right. So we're, we're backing up the unlocked PCM with the factory PCM data that we read before we uh, installed it. Turn the ignition off. Press screen to continue. Learn how to read. I'm trying to tell you. Come on. All these boss here and my wife. Preparing. Modified ECU has been updated with factory data. Yeah. This thing is making all kinds of noises. Like I was saying, what I like about these versus a shop tune, for instance, is that one, you pay for this once and you've got all these different tunes that you can apply. You go to a shop, yeah, they're gonna do an excellent job. And that's, you know, that could be as good as it gets in terms of really dialing in for your region, for your motor type, for your elevation, your tires, your gearing. You name it, they're going to dial it in, maybe more so than you can get with a stock tune uh, template. However, what's cool about these is you can upload custom tunes, and there are a few uh, notable and very reputable custom tunes out there that you can upload directly. That's a good sign. That you can upload directly to the uh, Diablo tuner. And uh, so really the possibilities are endless. You can, you can get a precision tune with this just like you could a shop tune and uh, you don't got to go to the shop to do it so the TCM tune has taken a few minutes but it looks like it's wrapping up now oh okay yeah we don't need that tutorial that's basically like if you've never used anything before so adjustable parameters Tires. We are running a three zero five forty five twenty two. Going to continue. Okay. MDS. We want to turn that off. Save. Limiters. Speed limiter. We don't want a speed limiter. Throttle. Throttle booster. I don't. Increase the boost. Increase boost the vehicle's throttle sensitivity? Yikes. How high does it go? 20? We'll try that install so this is 87 octane performance trans tune turn the MDS off turned up the speed limiter we inputted our specific tire size and I did some other things that you saw we made it your vehicle has been successfully tuned press continue to return to the main menu all right she breathed fire now so among some of the other things that I think this tune is going to be great for, the throttle response 
uh, that I didn't know it was capable of changing, I want to test that because I mentioned that it's kind of, it's slow from the factory. You, you pin it to the floor, and you, you make a cup of tea, and then she hits you. I think that could be a little bit better. So let's just test that real quick. Hey oh interesting. So I definitely can feel, and you could probably hear if you compare it to whenever we were testing the cold air intake, you know, it, there was obviously more power, but you still got that throttle delay. Didn't get that on that pull. We're about to come to a stop sign and we'll just we'll give it the mustard. Or do we give it the hot dog? No, we give it the mustard. Oh, no. She's spinning, boys! Holy shoot! I had zero traction for half of that. Now, it's wet, I know. This is not, this is not a fair test bed. For a before and after but you know we just installed it today we had to take it for a drive and i promise we will do follow-ups when we've got some dry pavement i'm going to get on it a little less hard this time so we're doing 15 miles an hour hit it much faster spinning <laughs> definitely improved on the throttle response it's near instantaneous this time very happy with that I love the gauge clusters I don't know how well you can see the gauges over here in the screen that probably looks small from that angle very responsive nice look I'll have to probably play with that a little bit to kind of see how I can tweak that and change it but uh, lots of options probably more than I need to be honest but good to have some of you guys out there may actually need to know some of those finer details where I just you know RPMs trans temperature speed is a good one what speed are we going I know what you're asking yourself can you tell a difference I can absolutely tell a difference now if if you're a casual driver and you know you, you put low miles on it on your vehicle or you don't drive it hard you may not be as in tune with your truck as someone who lives in their vehicle who really works their truck I can tell a difference and I cannot wait to see what I can do change some of these tunings Maybe for towing, I'm going to be really interested to see what this can do when I'm pulling the trailer. And maybe a 91 octane test, 93 octane test. Man, I'm getting excited. I'm going to need some better tires before we get this thing really juiced up because I'm just going to roast these things. All right. Traction control off. We're going to turn traction control off. We're at a stop light. No one's coming. Let's see what she does. Sideways, baby. Still spinning. Woo! Hi, caramba! I just got the goosebumps. This truck is not well behaved anymore. And I like it. Well, folks. It's a good thing my best friend's a police officer in this town because I am going to jail. I'm going to get in trouble with this thing. I really enjoy it. I can absolutely tell the difference. Let me know what you think. If you've, if you've installed this, if you've got a tune in mind, I would love to hear about it. I know that there's some custom tunes out there that are really supposed to waken these five, seven Hemis up. And I'd probably like to give it a shot. So that's all I've got for you for today do me a favor go over to realtruck.com poke around buy yourself something nice why because you deserve it as always guys thanks for watching